Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Well, it's really good to be with you today. We are in 1 Samuel. If you have your Bibles, you can open up to 1 Samuel chapter 3. Uh, that's where we're going to be uh, reading from today. Just a great section of Scripture, you know, if you've been joining us, uh, you know where we're at. If you haven't, if this is new for you, jump back a couple of devotions uh, because we're like right in the middle of the story of how Samuel, this really, really young prophet who's been dedicated to the purposes of God uh, by his mom, by his dad, this extraordinary work that God was doing. We're just learning now how Samuel began to discern the voice of the Lord. I had mentioned, uh, and I know that if you were watching these or listening to to these devotions, you uh, for sure remember this, that the most important thing that a prophet does isn't just uh, speaking on behalf of God. The most important thing is that a prophet hears from God because a prophet is a, a man or a woman with a message and you can't speak the message unless you've heard it first. And so God is just initiating these moments of teaching Samuel how to hear his voice. And so Samuel, of course, lying uh, there in um, the temple or the tabernacle um, in the holy place, right, where the presence of God dwelt. And he's heard um, not just once, but twice God speak to him. God calls him out and says, here I am. And then God calls him again by name the second time. And Samuel, he's hearing the voice, but but he doesn't connect it to God. And so he gets up both of those times. He goes to Eli, who was the high priest at the time. And uh, he says, hey, here I am. You call me. You know, you call me. What, what is it that you want? And both those times, Eli says, you know, essentially, you know, go lay down, go back to bed. Well, it happens a third time. And you know, if you are a student of scripture, that the number three is significant in the Bible. I mean, for sure, just settling that this, of course, was God's voice. And the Bible says in verse 8, and the Lord called Samuel again the third time, and he arose and he went to, to Eli, and he said, here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore, Eli said to Samuel, go lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, speak, Lord, for your servant here. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. So by this time, Eli is rec recognizing probably from personal experience, right? Because as the high priest, he had experienced something similar in, not that he was a prophet necessarily, but in hearing the voice of God. He recognizes that, that Samuel um, is, in fact, hearing God's voice. I think a couple of things just to point out here. The first one is this, that that sometimes distinguishing God's voice is a process. Sometimes it is a process. I think, you know, when we preach and teach, um, it's inspiring to say that every time God speaks, we hear, um, that we're always able to discern the voice of God. Sometimes, you know, when you're talking to Christians, you know, you, you hear them talk about their relationship with God and the, the clarity with which God speaks and, and how they always hear. And, Sometimes, at least if you're like me, you're left thinking, man, it's not always like that for me. You know, is, is there something wrong with me? Because there are times, there are times in, in my devotional time where I'm like really pressing in hard and, and it's not as if every time I'm in my devotional time, I walk away thinking, man, God, you spoke loud and clear. Sometimes he does. Sometimes it's a little fuzzy, you know, like I can really sense that he is speaking something, but it's not just that absolutely clear. And then there are some times where it's like, okay, um, good for me to be in the word, good for me to be sitting in God's presence, but not necessarily walking away with this like crystal clear moment um, of God speaking. And so if that is like you, I just would encourage you, that's why you press on, right? That's why you press on. Sometimes what happens is, we just get discouraged in those moments and we think, hey, if, I, if I'm going to spend the time doing this and not get anything from it, you know, why would I, why would I continue to do it? Or you get discouraged and you think, man, there must be something wrong with me. All the while, God is saying to you, hey, press in, press in, don't stop, keep going back to that place. 
And I love what Samuel, how Samuel is instructed by Eli. Eli says, the next time you, you hear it, present yourself as the servant of the Lord. Um, speak, Lord, for your servant, your servant hears, right? I mean, arranging yourself in that proper position where God is God and he is Lord. He is master and you're exalting him. And you're that servant, you're humble, you're positioned in humility, understanding that when God does give revelation, he does it out of an act of grace. Like we never do deserve God's revelation just because we've earned it. Um, So I think that that's super instructive. I also think that there's a warning here because most likely uh, Eli's in this place where it's like, man, I I remember those days. I remember what those days were like. I remember what it was like to hear the voice of God, um, to be that connected to God and that sensitive to his spirit. And and I, 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 I'm i sure, I have no doubt that there was a, a sense of regret in Eli's life because he had drifted so far from God that he no longer clearly heard the voice of God to the extent that God had to raise somebody else up, a new person who was humble and willing to really live their life out as a servant because Eli wasn't living as a servant, he was self-centered. Maybe at one point in time, man, he was humble in his desire to be a servant of God, but over the course of time, you know, everything began to be oriented around himself. So, uh, man, just really lean into this today, lean into the process and, and pursue God, and, and there are gonna be times, it's okay, there's gonna be times where, man, the word is just super clear, maybe sometimes where it's a little fuzzy, maybe sometimes where it's like, well, you knew you did the right thing, but hopefully that revelation will come later. God will always be faithful because he always does want to reveal himself to us. Father, we're blessed today by your word, and um, even in this daily devotional, God, this is what we're doing, consistently leaning in, looking for you to reveal yourself to us. We bless your name today. Grant my brothers and sisters just rich revelation in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.